the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. And, and, um, and I know what's going on here. And I know what the Holy Spirit is, is sharing with me. And most of it is about what's going on in this country because this is where I'm at. But the Holy Spirit shows me this world, this world, this world system. Right. And the Holy Spirit shows me the kingdom of God versus this world exactly. and this world system. And, that's and so what's that's going where, on where, where I'm at and, and, and will remain. But in order to give examples, the majority of resources that I have is based on what's going on in this country and none of it is good. Yeah. And that's none why, and, and I think that's where I think we in this title here today was the fact of trying to get, and I want to emphasize that for maybe this year is the fact is that let's start focusing or pushing people back toward the truth and it's continuing in this word. And we're going to close with, with this. I would like, if you don't mind, it's only uh, four or five verses because it's dealing with the this end time. And I wanted to see what you think about it. And, I, and then I close out, I promise. This is, this is it. This is it. It's, I thought it was interesting because I, I, I was looking at that scripture dealing with itching ears, right? Mm -hmm. And this is what's in uh, Second Timothy. You can see the title, it may be the right word, it said, Preach the Word. Uh -huh. And I think one time y'all was trying to say, that when you said about hating the politics, right? I said, I want to just get in the word. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Because when we deal with this world, we see it's depressing sometimes. When we see the atrocities and the, the oppression and everything else. Look, 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 read that for us, at least all the way to uh, four, but not no, four. four What's the other thing? Five. five. One through five. You got to wait. Okay. I charge thee therefore before God and the Lord Jesus Christ, who shall judge the quick and the dead at his appearing in his kingdom. Preach the word. Be instant in season, out of season. Reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long, long suffering and doctrine, for the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, mm -hmm. but after their own lust mm -hmm. shall they heap themselves teachers mm. having itching ears. Yes, they do. And, and they, they shall do. turn away their ears from the truth. Mm -hmm. Wow. And shall be turned into fables. Which is what you were saying. You can yeah. read, you go to one to eight, I guess, but yeah. that's, that's the whole point there. Go ahead. But watch thou in all things, mm -hmm. endure afflictions, do the work of an evangelist, Yes. make full proof of thy ministry. Yes. For I am now ready to be offered, mm -hmm. and the time of my departure is at hand. Yes. I have fought a good fight. He did. I have finished my course. Come on. I have kept the faith. Yes, sir. Henceforth, there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, yes. which the Lord, the righteous judge, so give me at that day, uh -huh. and not to me only, but Come unto on. all them also that love his appearing. Yes. And I like the fact that this is the fact he said is that the, the that fable, because that was this line up with everything you just said. Yeah. That line up with everything you just said about the fact is that they're turned to teachers that teach us fables. Yeah. Lies. That's what we need. So let's, for the future, continue to focus on that. It's, 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 if anything, we, if we're going to talk about the, the, the things of the day, is to find out where that lining up in the scriptures and, and compare it so that people can get at. that. I'm going to have to use that next week. I might, I'll probably do it on my little TikTok. You ain't got to worry about that, but you can't see it. <laughs> How about use that one right there? Here's the fact is that people want, that lines with that guy told me, I only want to hear the truth that I want to hear. 
And therefore, he was talking about fables. That's what he wants to hear. And maybe that's what a whole bunch of them wants to do. Because, you know, in the end time, when they're talking about the Antichrist, what, 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 he's going to deceive many. Well, yeah. what do you call it? Lying, what, I think what the scripture said was lying wonders. And he'll deceive yeah. many. And, and how, I guess that question that came in while we were talking earlier today is how is it that when, when you know, when they said the angels will be flying around saying, do not take the, the mark of the beast. There's going to be angels sitting there. It, it, you got the, also those two prophets. And yet they said those people still, even when those plagues and stuff in the end time comes on them, they still, this the church is already gone now, right? They still reject God. That's a hardened heart that, that we talk about coming. Yeah. Well, already you know, here. It's, it's, it's pretty much here. Woo. You know, um, wow. It's, it's, uh, mm. Mm. you know, all my life you, you hear, you know, these are the end times. These are the end times, you know, mm. uh, uh, Christ is, 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 is about to crack the sky. You know, you hear it, you hear it, you yeah, hear it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then there's, but when you read Revelations, mm. you actually know that this, this time and this age still can't compare to what's to the happen. travesties yeah. and, the, and the ungodliness that is going to be unleashed yeah. In this world, this is nothing. It, it doesn't. It doesn't amaze me. It doesn't catch me off guard. I'm not wowed by it or anything. It's it's almost expected. It was. Well, it's, 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 it's it's already written too. Yeah, it's going to happen. It's just yeah. the fact that I didn't want to see the. Uh, you don't want to be the ones. You don't. Hate, you hate to be in that. Uh, that 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 tail end of where these things started to come to, to uh, reality. But at the same time, it's telling you if you're observing and you continue the word, then you know the importance of labor is going out and preaching the word to, to as many that will receive it because the flood is coming. I assume yeah. that even when they, they said it when Noah was building the ark, they were eating, they were drinking, they was marrying, there was all those things, but they knew it was coming themselves. Yeah, they will receive it. So let's continue to just always in it as as we have been continue to line that word up with truth and and and, and share as 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 often as possible. Sometimes even that fellowship with that doing carriage. I just want to tell other people is fellowship with the family. Give them milk, whatever, but just to sit there and just. You'd be amazed at how much they really will talk uh, and listen. Matter of fact, Rose, when we did the uh, Genesis with Cain, uh -huh. and it's, it said, do you know that one screen where it said is that the, you read it, I think, last week, or week or last, where, where he said that if you do well, will you not be accepted? But if you do not do well, sin will... Let, let me show that to you what I'm trying to say. Let me get it up there. It's, it's about it's something like sin waited. It, it, it's the crouching. Well, one, one of the NIV says crouching at the door. Yeah. Uh, but the other one, what I was saying, he, but he said that he, you will rule over it. And that, that, that's the one that kind of threw me off a little bit. See where it says uh, verse the Lord said to Cain, why art thou wroth? This is verse 6. And the Lord said unto Cain, why art thou wroth? And why is that continent falling? If thou dost well, shall thou not be accepted. But if thou dost not well, sin lies at the door. And unto thee shall be his desires. That's what we're saying, right? That yeah. again is for sin. But look at this word right here. And thou shall rule over him. Yeah. <laughs> the piece I was getting out of was the fact that that rule, he, him is, thou is Cain, right? He's talking yeah. about Cain. 
Cain, thou shalt rule over sin. From what I'm reading there. But when she looked it up, she, I mean, I'm just saying we had our study. She said is, but you must master it. In other words, if you don't, if you're not going to do what I'm telling you to do, sin is waiting. You know, like you said, I think that part you caught. Sin is crouching. Well, NIV is saying sin is crouching at the door. Uh -huh. it's, it's, you know, I'm saying it's ready to jump on you. It, it, it's going to, it's going to put its desires and lust towards you. You need, but that piece right here is very good saying is, and NIV says, you must master it. You see what I'm saying is, yeah. you must control it because it's going to try to consume you. Yeah. It's going to try to put the lust and everything else on you. You're going to have to master that. But if you do what I told you to do, you'll be accepted and you do well. Yeah. But if you don't do it, right, then, then sin is jumping all on you. And now you're going to have to control it and master it in yourself. And that's what people are dealing with today. They have to master sin or sin will master them. That's what I was looking at. And she brought that, I'm just saying this, when we had that discussion, she looked it up and brought that to faith. So I, I, I thought that was, that was very commendable. That if you do have a, a small uh, fellowship with, with your spouse, you'd be amazed what they can contribute if we allow them yeah. to do that. So I just encourage you to, to do that uh, sometime this week and, and, and see what comes out of it. Have, when last time y'all had a group Bible study? Do you remember? Oh, me and my wife? Yeah. Uh, we haven't really sat down, opened the Bible and, and, and went over scriptures, but we talk about the word. Yeah. yeah. Matter of fact, as soon as I get out of here, we have a, a conversation. Oh, you do? Okay. Every God bless time. you. Yeah. Amen. Amen. That's a blessing. And, and you, it, it feels good though, right? It? When you sit there and you just talk about the word. So that's why I just encourage us and anybody that's on these, these videos to do that. Just, just fellowship with your spouse. And if you can, when your child's still young, like you still got one that he ain't grown yet. <laughs> Once he grown, he ain't been able to do anything. Yeah. <laughs> but now is that window, you know, to pass that wisdom. Because I, do you remember your mom going over the scriptures with you? You remember that, right? She? Uh, not, not so much. But I she did. Her, yeah. Man, she used to pray. Boy. You knew about the prayer, yeah. Yeah. Man, I used to wake up to my mom just oh. agonizing in prayer and just wailing oh. out to God. Come on. For her she probably doing that so y'all could hear. And uh, no, no. No, okay. I don't think it was for us. Okay, okay. And, okay. Uh, did she ever talk to you the scriptures, by the scriptures? We'd, ha we'd have conversation. We, I'd call and we would talk about the word and everything. And, and she would just <laughs> always say, man, I've never known nobody that had so much faith in God's word. Whatever they say, you just believe it <laughs> without, without question. She says, you just amazed me. And, and I'd be like, look, I said, what else <laughs> I got to do? <laughs> okay, okay. You the one, look at you with the teacher at that time. <laughs> no, no, not, not, not so much. You know, I'm just saying we would just conversate. And, okay. And if, if, if I, when, I believe something that would you, it was hard for you to change my understanding yeah. of what I had. Yeah. And yeah. so that's how she would, she would say, it's like, boy, you, you, you hold fast. <laughs> <laughs> she, she did it from a positive statement too, wasn't it? It was like, I, but I mean, I'm sometimes it was, it was, it was, she was trying to get me to see her point of view. Okay. And, and, I just wouldn't let go to what I understood. <laughs> and you were fired <laughs> up for the Lord at every stage. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, well, just, just have, I hope you have a good week. Uh, if you don't mind praying this out, I appreciate it. Okay. Rest for the, take the rest of the week. All right. Well, let's pray. Father, once again, this, this has been an awesome time, and we truly, truly thank you. We thank you for this life, this extraordinary life that you have equipped us with, Lord God, that you have 
given us all things that we need to live this life according to your will. We thank you for your son, Jesus, who has redeemed us from this fallen state, Lord God, and that you have adopted us to be your dear sons yeah. and daughters. Lord God, that you have equipped us with the Holy Spirit who brings all truth, Lord God. Mm. And we thank you for the revelations that we have received on this day, on your word and your will and your ways, Father. Yeah. And we pray that we are, are strong in it and that we do not fall privy to the wiles of the enemy, that we allow your truth to make us free mm. from all things that are <laughs> not of you. Yes. And that we see the enemy for what he is and who yes. he is and how he is. And that we actually, Lord God, put him in his place. Yes. And that we are overcomers, Lord God, by your word and through your, your word and through your son Jesus, by proclaiming the kingdom of God in this yes. day and age. And we go forth as such. And we pray that the word that we got on this day mm. shall manifest in our lives yes. and bring forth fruit so that we may equip those to do the work of the ministry. Yes, Lord. And that we do bring forth fruit, Lord God, that is able to redeem those who are lost in this yes. dying world. And we look forward to the coming of our Lord and our Savior, our King. Glory to God. We praise you, King. Yes. And we live for you. These things we say in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 God bless you, brother. I, I, I actually get a chance to review these slides when I try to break those down in smaller segments and yeah. put them in there. So that's, as I get a, I'll automatically get a review. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, but I did do that new format where I can do, put them on the blog and I can, instead of send them out separately, you can put them all together. Uh, in, I don't know if you noticed that, that last one I sent out. I put them all, you can put four or five of them together. You know, uh, we break this up. In the same. Yeah. yeah. So, but they're all together as one long. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So I think that's good. And I, I'm going to keep trying to do that. So I'm going to do these in a minute in cinema. Okay. <laughs> God bless, bro. I appreciate you. Right. Yeah, blessed. Thursday, you're not normally coming on Thursday more, right? Well, it's just I get caught up with some things. That, you know, it's not fine. that I'm not coming. It's just, but, you know. That's fine. Because that way I just use that time sometimes, maybe do a, uh, you know, a small segment myself yeah. and, and then yeah. this and that. Okay. Yeah, but don't count me out for Thursday. <laughs> okay, all right then. You stay blessed. All right, all right. be blessed.